everyone, this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review. To cut straight to the chase, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Join the Madness. We have social media through Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We also have a Discord. All of those links in the description box down below. We also have a Spotify podcast. That link is also in the description box. If you want to search it up yourself, it is the Mike Check Podcast. Now, Carrying on to the review, this review is going to be about the film called Into the Storm. It is a 2014 found footage disaster film of a meteorolo meteorological, can't say that word, disaster film about a rash of tornadoes striking the town of Silverton, Oklahoma. I never really heard about this film until recently because my girlfriend happened to show me it and she said that she watches this film religiously. Let's get into the numbers! Critics rate this film a 2.1 out of 10. The audiences rate this film a 4.1 out of 10. The budget of this film was $50 million, and they boxed off its back $161.7 million. Now, before getting into the comments of this film, it says it's a found footage film, but it kind of is it because it does have found footage elements, but it also kind of also has third person uh movie shots and it also kind of looks like a documentary so it's kind of like a miss a mishmash of all three of those so it was actually pretty interesting to watch and actually quite entertaining and i'm the kind of person that hates found footage films so that's a plus for me there were two cast members from the 2009 friday the 13th there was one cast member from iCarly um this um movie uh reminded me of uh, lots of resemblance of the uh Joplin tornado, but on a grander scale. It also felt like there were some scenes that were shot in Moore, Oklahoma, and it also resembled the Moore, Oklahoma tornado on a higher scale as well. The Titus Storm uh, Chaser vehicle uh, kind of resembles a tumbler from the Dark Knight trilogy. And then I kind of added some like uh, story writing uh, notes that would have changed that. I felt like would have made it a little bit better. I feel like it would be more traumatic for the dad and brothers if the mom died from a tornado years prior to the movie events instead of a car crash. Yeah, like, we went into this film knowing that the mother of this family had died, but it was in a car crash, and I feel like that it would tie more to the story a little bit better if her death was more related to the tragic events that were happening in the movie. That way it kind of gave more trauma and PTSD for the family. That's just... I feel like that would kind of tell a little bit more a story and would give this family more reason to have more um, urgency to make sure everyone is safe. For an ending scene, uh, they ended it with the uber tornado trapping them in the drain pipe and the guy driving the tumbler uh, blocked the door to make sure everyone's safe and everything. I, as traumatic as that is, and I actually do like that ending, I feel like that it could have flip-flopped a little bit here. I would make that like the second to last scene and then make the very ending scene to where the father is finding the older brother and the wreckage and him rescuing his life and everything would probably add more drama to the film. Just a couple tweaks here and there. The film's okay as it is. I actually liked it. Moving on to the uh, pros and cons. Uh, the pros, pretty good cast selection, good cast interaction and dialogue in this film. I already covered it earlier saying this is kind of like a mismatch of it, but it's kind of like a found documentary of, of it with like the documentary, the found footage, and like the actual third person shooting scenes of the film. I like that a lot. It felt like a breath of fresh air. Um, some of the different camera angles they used for this film actually looked very great for the cinematography, even with some of the CGI looking a little bit iffy on some spots, but it still looked pretty, um, I guess you can say, realistic for the most part. Like I said with the CGI, most of the special effects and the sceneries of this film was fantastic as well. I feel like they chose really great locations in Oklahoma and filmed it for this film to make it more like an actual like tornadic environment. I kind of feel like maybe a lot of people didn't like this character, but there was a spoof character in the film, I didn't really remember his name, but he's a Reed Timmer spoof character. I actually thought he was quite hilarious and I also kind of want to know how the hell he survived the entire movie because him and his buddy got sucked up in the tornado and then it ends with them stuck in the tree still alive 
The Storm Chaser called the Titus actually had a personality. It was like its own character in the entire film. The Tornado Destruction and the Fire Tornado looked actually pretty decent for the most part. Again, that was one thing that was a little bit touchy on the CGI, but for what they showed us, it was actually really good. Character development, which could tie in with the uh, good cast selection, the interaction, and the dialogue. Uh, the development of the characters throughout the film was actually fantastic, and the soundtrack of this film was great. That's usually the number one thing I always look for before I actually go into the film, as I'm listening to the soundtrack of the movie, and if the soundtrack's good and it hooks me in, that is a definite plus. Those are all of my uh, pros in the film. Con-wise, the uh, documentary interviews in the very beginning, talking to the high school student, were a bit awkward, but at least it gave each character personality. Um, it kind of adds more character development where uh, they go back to them later after them surviving the tornadic events, and they're actually a different person at the end of the film, which kind of makes this con a bit null and void for me, but it's still it's kind of hard to get through those little three to five minute inter, um, interview bits there. I've already mentioned it a couple times throughout the throughout the review, the CGI is very hit or miss. The tornado has very strange characteristics because it kind of acts like it has, it's its own entity and its own personality as well. And it's like a vengeful tornado, I guess. I've seen some pretty fucking weird tornado movies, but this is not one of those super weird ones. It's just, it's kind of like, it gives me hints of those really fucking weird ones. but. It's not too much to neck on. Some of the character choices that they decided on for survival during these events were very questionable as to why they would do it because it's like common sense why they would not do what they did, like go hide under like a, an underpass or anything or something that would like suck them out of a drain or whatever. But it could also be considered as just like um, natural instinct or just like animalistic instinct kicking in for these people because they're like last resorting to uh, decisions and like I said earlier uh, I guess his name is right here I didn't see it earlier the Reed Timmer a spoof character I don't understand how uh, Dunk his name was Dunk uh, yeah and how he survived the film I actually really did enjoy this film a lot I, I kind of wonder why the um, ratings of this movie was very low Probably it could be because it was, just, to everyone, it was probably another run-of-the-mill uh, tornado film because there's a lot of tornado films that are very bad. But my rating is going to be an 8.1 out of 10, and I, that's, I kind of felt right sitting it right there on the out of 10 uh, scale. It's just, it's the, the combination of the uh, different uh, film styles with the documentary, the found footage, and the third person, the way the characters interacted with uh, amongst each other and the development throughout the story and the fact that the uh, Titus was its own entity like its own personality in the film and just how the film looked overall is kind of what boosted this up to an 8.1 and then the tiny bits here and there that kind of knocked it back down just awkward scenes CGI weird characteristics but that's it and the survival of Dawn that's pretty much and there you have it. That is my review of Into the Storm. If you enjoyed this review, once again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Join the madness. We have social media that is through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We also have a Discord channel, and we also have a podcast on Spotify. All five of those links are in the description box down below. Be sure to catch me in the next movie review. This is Mike Check 95 signing out.